<clears throat> okay, so we want to make a video about how to make a pipe delimited file in Windows. Um, the reason we're looking at this, we go back to uh, back into Rule Maker in the import in the Rule Import version of Rule Maker. You'll see several places where you can import files. You can do so here on the uh, control page, uh, pipe delimited or comma separated, and then um, also in the test pre-staging tab, you can import pipe or comma delimited. So let's discuss a little bit and demonstrate how to create these files in these formats. Um, so usually you're going to be using Microsoft Excel, and if you're familiar with tests or if you create your transfer rules in some other spreadsheet. Um, when, you, um, when you go into Excel and you go to Save As, we're going to go to File, Save As, you'll get options of the format that you want to save, right? So you're going to see comma separated here, comma delimited. Okay, so comma separated Right, that the, the columns in Excel end up being separated by commas, comma separated. Okay, so that's fine. And that's one of the options that we'll accept. Um, as you can see, we'll, we'll accept a comma separated. Uh, and here we will accept a comma separated. The issue is that um, in your data file, and you can really see this if you strongly recommend that you use a text editor to look at these files and TextPad or some other, um, even Notepad could be used. Um, but if you have any commas, the problem with comma separated is if course titles or even the names of institutions uh, will sometimes have or other, other fields here, subject areas or any of these, may have commas in them and it's going to throw off your entire file format. So like if this was, um, if the title here was learning and other things like this, then all of a sudden all your columns are thrown off. So that's why we really want to focus on how to make pipe delimited. It's generally a more reliable format. So we're going to show you how to do that. Um, in, so the first thing you have to understand to do that is to how to set up windows to create pipe delimited. So we're going to go through these and we can send you these screenshots. Um, you're going to want to go into your Windows settings and go into time and language. You'll see something like this, time and language. Then, so here, uh, date, time, and regional formatting. Additional date, time, and regional settings. Ah, here we go. Change date, time, or number formats. Yes. So you're going to see, and I think here you click additional settings. <laughs> you got to really, and you're going to see a list separator. See this here? So this is where you're going to choose, you're going to type in a pipe. And a pipe, you may even have trouble finding that on your keyboard, but it's on the right hand side of your keyboard. Let's see if we can even find it here. If I try to launch my. Uh, here we go. Ah, yes. You want this character right here. It's going to usually be on the right hand side of your keyboard. Okay. And then you will want to put that here and say, okay, and apply and all this. You may have to do it a couple times, um, but you'll eventually, you want to get this list separator set like this. Okay. So once you do that, I'm just going to go back in and make sure I didn't mess it up. Right. Once you do that, go ahead and close out of these settings. Do that in your Excel now. If I go back into my file here, and so this format here is what comes right out of the test system. Okay, I didn't change this at all, a sample file. And you can see there's a lot of columns here. Just straight out of uh, the test download process. And so I'm just going to grab uh, like 10 of these just to illustrate. Just copy. Copying right out of Excel. It's going to go, you know, um, copy. 
open up a new spreadsheet. Okay, just a blank spreadsheet. I'm going to paste these in here. Um, keep source column width. Okay, just straight paste. Didn't change a thing. I did get rid of my column headers, right? We don't want column headings. Uh, and let me just show you that. If I go back to the one that I copied from, this one, I had columns headings, right? So we don't want those. Um, so we just want pure data. Okay, here's my file. Now, if I go to File, Save As, and I want to choose a format, right? So let's do, I need to choose, you don't see pipe delimited here, right? Nowhere does it say pipe delimited. So you're going to choose comma separated, okay? But uh, let's do call it test file, okay? Test, I'll call it test pipe, okay? And it's going to appear to be comma delimited, okay? I'm going to click save. Now test pipe, let's go, ah, look, they're not commas, they're pipes. So even though I Shows comma separated. Excel is saving it. So this is a this is our pipe delimited file. See, it's all the columns from the test spreadsheet, but they're caught, but they're delimited by pipes. Okay. All right. So this is ready now, and I just want to get rid of this blank. Make sure in your text editor that you don't have a blank row at the bottom. Okay. And this should be good to go. Okay. Uh, let's save this. So let's go ahead and attempt to load this into RuleMaker on the test pre-staging tab, right? I'm just gonna purge the grid. I'm gonna say import pipe. Test pipe two. There we go. Okay, so you can see uh, we have the external org ID. Um, now we can talk more in detail about how how we parse that file. Um, so when we load a test file, we are matching on key values. Okay, so um, this wasn't a great example because this is not a valid institution code, but you want to generally try to make sure your test data has an OPE ID or FICE code in this sending institution column. And so we're going to match that in PeopleSoft to get the org ID. And then the other matching that we're doing is on the course ID. So here's the, here's the uh, incoming course and here's the receiving course, the course ID. So we will also try to match. Now in my demo environment here, I don't get matches, but we'll try to match on the subject catalog number and identify your PeopleSoft course ID. Uh, but otherwise, we're pulling straight in from tests, and then we'll go through more detail on basically at this point, uh, if your data is, you're happy with your data, you will click push to staging, and then we are going to, we've taken that test data and transformed that into PeopleSoft data, okay? Uh, now this data now, and again, in my demo environment, I'm not getting a lot of matches here on the course ID. Uh, but in, uh, in a real database, you would have course ID matching, and we would be ready to then go back and load this into uh, using RuleMaker. Uh, but the point of the video, really would not to demonstrate the entire product of RuleMaker, but we wanted to demonstrate how to uh, create a, a pipe-delimited um, file. Okay, thank you.